You're recording. My dazzling Toastmaster Prem Chand Bharti, my sparkling fellow Toastmaster Sushmita Vaidya, my scintillating Division Director Sholab Datta, and my fellow Toastmasters and guests, welcome to 691 meeting of the Speech Weavers Toastmasters Club. Please remember the cardinal principles of the Toastmasters. Those who are joined online meeting, make sure keep your video on at all times, unless you're moving out or in of the meeting. Number two, please keep your audio muted at all times and unmute it as and when you're called for. And make sure to applaud every role taker speaker to encourage them to perform their role to their maximum. With this, I invite the presiding officer for today's meeting, who has joined all the way from New Delhi and who works in Baiching Bhotia's Sports Academy Club. He's a sportsman as a passion and loves to communicate across the globe through various meetings, communications. So please join me in welcoming with round of applause Toastmaster Bidu Das. Thank you so much, our Sergeant of Arms, Toastmaster Mirin, sir. Good evening again, Toastmasters and guests. Thank you for joining Speech Weavers Toastmasters Club meeting number 691. I am the presiding officer for the day and I declare the meeting open. Today, I am pitching in for our regular president, Toastmaster Shubhadeep, but it is an absolute honor to host all of you. Showing up is a very understated effort. At Toastmasters, we show up for a variety of reasons, like improving our public speaking, developing leadership skills, or socializing. But all those diverse reasons culminate into a single overarching goal, which is to make ourselves a little better. So I appreciate every one of you who took time of the busy schedule to join us on a Friday. And I'm sure you will have a great time in the next one and a half hours. We have some interesting people joining us today. We have speakers Toastmaster Nancy and Toastmaster Mohini from outside of Speech Weavers Club. Toastmaster Nancy joins from the Gabby's Toastmaster Club and Toastmaster Mohini joins from the Stagecoach Bangalore Toastmasters Club. Welcoming you both to today's Speech Weavers meeting. Not only that, we also have distinguished Toastmasters Rude and distinguished Toastmaster Saurav, who will be the evaluators. Distinguished Toastmaster Rude is joining from Rising Speakers Toastmasters Club. And we also have a very special general evaluator, Toastmaster Shushmita. She is our club coach and vice president education of Baker's Hughes Bengaluru Toastmaster Club. Again, a warm welcome to all of you. In the meantime, we also have joined by a few guests. We have Munish Gupta who has joined us. We have Akshata who has also joined us. And I hope along the way, we are also joined by a few more guests. Guests. So let me introduce one special first person of our meeting, Toastmaster Joseph. He is our Toastmasters of the day. But before we go into that segment, Toastmasters Joseph sir, wants to tickle our funny bone because he is also the joke master for today. Toastmaster Joseph, sir, the stage is yours for the role of the joke master for today. Thank you, Toastmaster Bidu. A man was confused whether to go to heaven or to hell. He was talking to so many people and everybody praised the heaven while everybody despised the hell because it is a place of agony and uh, suffering and fire while the heaven is so, uh, uh, the, the presence of God is there and there is always uh, a beautiful atmosphere in heaven. But he was not satisfied. So he went to God and asked, can you give me a chance to visit hell and come back so that I can decide my fate whether to go to heaven or to hell? 
So God has given him a chance to go to hell. When he went to the hell, he found it was a five-star welcome. A beautifully arranged red carpet. People look like angels with a garland to put on him and singing a beautiful song. And he was uh, welcomed in the most, uh, uh, in a very uh, splendor way. So he found out that it is really a good area, place. Then he had a very good volunteer dinner and uh, everything was went very well. And finally, he came back to earth. Then on, on the day of his death, unfortunately, because he chose hell, God sent him to hell only. So when he went to the hell for a second time, he could not see the previous welcome. It was so much of uh, what I can say, a devilish spirit was living there. And they, they were astonished. What happened? A javelin, a chain, and a ball, and whatnot, the sword, the most tremendous part of the welcome. Then he, wait, 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 he said. Last time, when I came to hell, I was given a five-star welcome. Now you are dragging me in the chain with a javelin. Somebody is hitting me with the What is all this? They said, when you come first time, it was only a visit visa. Now you have come with a permanent visa. Oh, to toast much of the day as a presiding officer. Thank you so much, Toastmaster Joseph, sir. And you, may, and you said correctly, over to Toastmasters of the day. Because it's <laughs> the same person, it is you. So I give the stage back to you as a Toastmasters of the day. And we are looking forward to the theme, which is about cricket. And I'm not sure the Indians are enjoying cricket at the moment. But we would love to hear from you what exactly are you talking about cricket. Over to you. Thank you. Good evening to all the Toastmasters and distinguished Toastmasters and honorable guests. Today, the Bangalore has a very beautiful weather, but the Bangalore has received very bad news. Because, as I said, life is a cricket game. The man who compared this to the, our life is also very true. I will tell you why. Today, we received a very bad news because the other day, Virat Kohli was on the top of the Himalayas and today he is below the base camp. It was so unfortunate. And the total, what we see is 170 run for two while 168 for six in 16 overs. This is a very bad situation. That's why they said agony at Adelaide. You know, all of you know that the cricket game is going on in Australia. Let me tell you what is a cricket, uh, how, when it started. Actually, cricket is a sport that has been tracked back to the early 16th century and has been a very popular game ever since. The first uh, game was uh, played between Kent and England way back in 16th century. And also in one of the Olympics, which was started in the year 1900. Cricket is a sport. The pinnacle of the international game comes in the form of Cricket World Cup. Other major events include T20 and Test Series and One Day Series. As you know, the field is usually a circular or oval shape and the edge of the field is covered, uh, marked by a boundary, which may be a fence or any other part of stand or a rope or a painted line or a combination of all these. In order to show that if the ball crosses the boundary, it will be six, while within the boundary, if it touches the boundary, it will be four. So one of the poet called James Love, he was a very romanticized at the sports and his culture. He wrote about the poem of cricket. I would like to read for you. 
life is a cricket we are the players aim is its game god is umpire here sorrow is the ball who breaks life stump truth is the bat who eats it and comes with hope here your smile is for joy is success success is a century run our monies people chasing runs to get the total in fact nothing in money only sorrows of global here teachers are coaches parents are trainer who guides us to a good performer where doubts are lbws accidents are run out failures are catches dead is bowled out here friendship is partnership which builds in affection it should break when any strong bowlers come here time is the bowler and patience is a batsman who plays the game easily he will be the champion this is what james love he himself is a cricketer he wrote this poem so wonderfully ladies and gentlemen the life is also compared in the same manner sometimes we lose many things in our life sometimes we gain many things in our life in order to say that it is the human nature when you lose something you are totally depressed and if you gain something you are overjoyed but the life teaches us to balance your mind and heart in such a way that you lose nothing in the end after all you did not bring anything when you are born and you did not take anything when you go this is the nature this is what god built for you during your life it is you who have to make your life sustainable in a positive direction or a balanced understanding of life so now i would like to say that the toast master international is a non profit educational organization since 1924 helping people from various backgrounds more confidential speakers communicators and leaders today we boast of 1000 14700 clubs 280000 members in 144 countries toastmaster international has completed its 98th year we have only two more years to go celebrate a century our founding fathers father Ralph C. Smedley uh, is a legendary person who may gave us the opportunity for us to improve our public speaking skills, build leadership, maximize your potential, enjoy unlimited growth, practice in writing, speaking, and pro- presenting a group setting, gain a competitive advantage in the workplace, build self confidence and self awareness. now our session today have three segments the first segment is always a prepared speech today we have very two special people and a special evaluators also in the second session we have table topic session table topic session is a very interesting and improvised speech session where even the guests are allowed to speak that's an opportunity for the guest so that they can participate and find uh, give their talent and experience or the way in which they could understand the subject and give a speech that was so wonderfully appreciated from the guest and we always feel that guest has to be given a priority the third one will be the evaluation it is only in the toastmaster platform that your present your presentation will be examined in a very perfect way and given you where you stand 
and there is no other place other than Toastmasters platform. Now I would like to invite for this session to continue, first of all, our general evaluator. Our general evaluator is a current vice president education and immediate past president of Baker Hughes Bengaluru Toastmaster Club. She's also past select distinguished area director in district 92. She's a sports enthusiast and loves to play and watch football, badminton, table tennis, and of course, cricket. She will also be very much disappointed because of today's result, because she's also a fan of cr cricket. She believes simplicity to be the ultimate sophistication as well goes with today's theme. Simplicity to be the ultimate sophistication in your life. Let us join our hands in welcoming Toastmaster Sushmita. Over to you, Toastmaster Sushmita. Thank you so much, Toastmaster Bide Joseph uh, uh, Thank you for um, sharing the same feelings what we are having now from since yesterday's Adelaide loss and all the cricket fans all over India, outside India, we are still trying to you know, digest the loss. <laughs> okay, good evening, everybody. So today I will be uh, the general evaluator for the meeting. So as you can understand, uh, I, I think in India, most of all are aware of the cricket, how it works. So in, in the cricket, there is an umpire. One who... minute, Samsmita. Is it possible that you come on a video? I'll come up sometime. Oh. My daughter is sleeping here. I okay, to... okay, that's fine. Yeah, yeah, thanks. Uh, so, uh, so, so there is an umpire who, who tells if the, there is a no ball or uh, there is a four or the sixer or is, is there any buy or any is it out? And so today I'll be honing the role, similar role like an umpire in a cricket match. And to assist umpire, there are some other supporting um, roles who, who supports an umpire to take uh, correct decision. And similarly, I also have a team who will support me during this uh, today's meeting evaluation. So they, that is my tag team. So today we have um, two, basically two role play players. So one will be the timer and another will be the language evaluator. So for today's timer, uh, Toastmaster Prem Chand, uh, <coughs> he is from Patna and currently staying in Bangalore. He works as software engineer in Visa. He joined Toastmaster to become more fluent and confident uh, speaker. So with this, may I request our timer, Toastmaster Premchand, to kindly share your role. What do you? Hi, everyone. Yeah, it's nice to join you guys. So basically, I'm from Patna, my native place in Patna. But uh, last eight years, I am staying in Bangalore with my family. And today is the like timer I'm joined here. So the four year back, I joined Toastmaster for one and two times. After that, I didn't get a chance to join. So again, I'm starting it to improve my confidence and uh, the remove hesitation to speak in front of public or anywhere, whatever it's in mind. Sometimes don't come actually in mouth. So wanted to remove that things by joining this lovely team yeah that's all thank you uh, uh thank you toastmaster prims a couple of uh request to you first please change your uh, background from green to uh regular or other any other background and also can you tell the timing how uh, you are going to time each speaker or evaluator and the table topic speaker uh so uh i have the exit seat here where I mentioned the name, let me share my screen just for the quick. So, uh, are you able to see this, my screen? Yeah. Now, yes. Yeah, so table is there, and the name I have mentioned for table topic, and then if I Evaluations will be there, name and then timing. 
and then within time yes or no uh, so for a speaker we have a speeches by nancy today and uh, joseph sir i think only nancy right nancy and... no we have uh, another speaker uh, toastmaster mohini mohini okay so we have two toastmasters speeches and uh, evaluation will be done by i think susmita right with you uh, and no Oh, so can you please refer to the agenda i think it will be you Bidu. can find it there yeah we do is the evaluation team i think so. agenda i received today so <clears throat> so basically toastmaster prem you, you have to change the your background as per yeah. the timing yeah so uh, are you sure or can you just repeat what are the timing you are going to change yeah so this is the means for a speech is 5 to 7 minutes i will just uh, uh, let me where is it i'm new in zoom so hmm, not to worry to hmm. i would suggest that uh, you can work it out on this one later in the meantime not to waste yes, our sir, sir. Time. Yeah. we can just go, go ahead for the our counter Uh, yeah so uh, i'm new in this actually also in this means zoom so uh, okay so uh, let me uh, quickly give you hint so much um, of time you have to for the prepared speaker uh, i see it's 5 uh, to 7 minutes so at 5 mm -hmm. minutes you have to show your green background at 6 minute um, the yellow one what currently you are showing and then at 7 minutes uh, red and keep it on till the speaker stops and you note down mm -hmm. the timing once the speaker yeah. Got uh, for evaluation, so it is I have the background color like this. So whenever the it will reach for a speaker like the five, then I will make green, and then six I will make yellow, and when it will reach the seven, then I will make it background red. Yeah, and once it is done, you can put something else, not the green or yellow. Okay, something else in the sense. Uh, the, oh yeah, you can remove it, yeah. the background. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, thank you. I think you can. I mean, time for the other also for the table topics, mm. one to two minutes. So just follow the timing what you have, and then you can change uh, the timing. And please also note the agenda. So there is also overall timing. So you can uh, refer to that as well, so that we uh, started on time. And we can also end on time. All right. So let's move on to my next uh, team member, who is the. Uh, uh, language evaluator for two days basically he is taking up as a grammarian as a and also as an accounter so two days uh, language evaluator is toastmaster vidu who is our acting presiding officer he is joining us from delhi and he is a sports management professional and looking into the corporate affairs in baichung bhutia football schools and he likes to watch movies he is a marathon runner and often enjoys trips with friends With this, may I request uh, Toshmaster Bidu to share your role and also please introduce the word of the day. Thank you so much, General Evaluator Toshmaster Shushmita. So, as a language evaluator, as the General Evaluator has mentioned, I will play both the grammarian and uh, counter. I'll start with the grammarian. Uh, as a grammarian, it is my responsibility to pay close attention to all the speakers and to take note of some outstanding usages of the words, sentences, and phrases. I'll also highlight the improvement areas in places where I feel the speaker. has not used some of the best or good phrases i'll also introduce the word of the day the word of the day is exacting i repeat exacting the meaning of the word exacting is making great demands on one's skill attention and resource i'll give you an example we at toastmasters aim to adhere to the exacting standards laid down in the public speaking manual i repeat we at toastmasters aim to adhere to the exacting standards laid down by the in the public speaking manual i request the toastmasters and guests to use the word wherever appropriate and if you do i'll appreciate by showing a thumbs up and also calling out your names at the end i'll give the report at the end of the meeting when called upon with this i move on to the r counter and as a r counter i would focus on the clutch words and the unnecessary sounds that the speaker uses during his course of the speech any filler words for example are ah, well but so and you know can be or some inappropriate interjections or sounds like ah uh, um or uh, are uh, filler words again at the end of the meeting i'll note the, note this down and report the number of times each speaker has used this expression 
for this i give it back to give the stage back to our general evaluator toastmaster shashmita uh thank you so much to our language evaluator toastmaster vidu for sharing your role and also sharing the word of the day request all the speakers to use it all right um, so now uh, along with my team i'll come at the end uh, to share our feedback about the how today's meeting is happening which bullet did great which batsman did great what are some of the scope we missed or we can improve for a next for our next meeting uh, so like any cricket match we will learn different skills from uh, from a, like a cricket match we learn different skills and also in, we learn the similar in our toastmaster meeting uh, something like um, how to do the hard work practice the leadership skill teamwork so all we uh, we learn in um, cricket and similarly in our toastmaster meeting uh, which are very much important for our life so with this uh, we'll learn more about this and we we'll listen from our toastmaster of the day to how the cricket is also a uh, game like in in our life so with this back to toastmaster of the day thank you toastmaster sushmita for this uh, wonderful way of uh, expecting a toastmaster in the life of comparing to the life of cricket and we really hope to gain something from today's meeting and i would like to call upon the first speaker's evaluator yeah he's the toastmaster for a little over a year since september 2020 president of the gabby's toastmaster club bangalore is also vp education for rising speakers toastmaster club bangalore he was previously era director now he is presently a division director he is a winner of three path baker awards and outstanding toastmaster and grand slam master mentor award for d92 let us call upon with great applause our distinguished toastmaster toastmaster saurav datta toastmaster saurav datta over to you to give you the purpose statement of the speaker one over to you so joseph i am the evaluator two evaluator one is toastmaster dtm ruday he is evaluating um, toastmaster nancy and evaluating toastmaster mohan that's for oh, okay so it's a change huh? so let us welcome the evaluator two who has completed one year with accenture he served district 92 as pathways ambassador area director associate area director leadership development program participant club growth director spoc division mentor and mostly a keen learner he has contested in all contest and went up to the division level in isc and table topics he is currently a dual member of ibm synergy toastmaster club and a keen learner of another club that is rising speaker toastmaster club he loves watching reality shows movies and traveling to new places let us welcome the the evaluator dtm rudey over to you dtm rudey thank you thank you toastmaster joseph a very good evening everyone uh, today the first speaker is going to sp uh, deliver a speech from level 3 project 2 which says the focus on the positive the purpose of this speech is for the member to practice being aware of his or her thoughts thoughts and feelings as well as the impact of that responses on others the member of, <clears throat> the purpose of this speech is for the member to share his or her experience completing the project time is 2 to 3 minutes or 5 to 7 minutes so nancy which or which are you opting for i'm going for 5 to 7 minutes speech instead of a report okay thank you very much all the best to us nancy over to you sir our first speaker today 
is an engineer by graduation and personal branding coach by profession. She has been a national level speaker four times in a row at Conference of Repute in Toastmasters. She's the educational committee lead for the program year 2022-23. She's a spearhead award winner and she's a member of the Gabby's Toastmasters Club, a very influential and uh, a person was always seen in every activity in every club almost. We welcome Toastmaster Nancy. Your title is That Not So Fine Day. Over to you, Toastmaster Nancy. It's really not so fine day. Did you ever argue or fight with your loved ones, relatives, your friends, or your family? This is the question that I posed when I was here last week at Speech Weavers for my level one project. Some of you were here, while the rest of you, not, not to worry. I'm not asking this question again. You don't have to answer. Because today, it's not about you. It's about me. I'll be answering this question. That day, that fine day, or rather not so fine day, I had an argument with one of my closest friends. We were chatting constantly since morning. Things were a bit ruffled up from my end. He is somebody always right. I, on the other hand, no less, always right. But that day, a righteousness it clashed. What happened? Why did we argue when we both were right? I was working on a project from the past couple of months, something I was so passionate about, heavily invested, so invested that I wanted to just put my heart and soul into it. With each passing day, I was putting up a brick applying mortar every time, every day. This is how I was thinking that one day it will take that shape, it will succeed. But that fine day in the morning, the management decided to change gears. And I realized I don't fit into that model anymore. I was left in the abyss and I was not sure what to do. My morals, my ethics were not aligned with the project anymore and I decided quit. After a couple of minutes, I had a call with him. We were discussing general bender first. Later on, it moved on to the discussion on the scenario since it was quite fresh in my mind. He was discussing his point of view, what happened, why it happened, or probably what could have happened better. On the other hand, if you look at me, I was in my own zone. My amygdala was completely hijacked by those primary emotions. To all his statements, there was an argument. It happened so that I just disconnected the call, feeling infuriated and hurt at the same time. I just wanted to talk to him again. How can he misunderstand me? How can he make me feel hurt knowing something bad happened? He could have understood, right? I just lay down on bed, curling up like a cocoon. I wanted to stay quiet for long and long. At least at that point in time, the last thing I want is to hurt anyone else with my statements, my, my arguments. I locked up my room, sat there in the dark for long hours. Finally, I managed to pick up my phone. Nowadays, I don't write diaries, but yes, I started noting down what I was feeling. I was journaling like every other day. 
when i was noting those feelings down it occurred to me why i was sad why i was feeling that excruciating pain that moment i realized i saw something that i built with my hands come crashing down like house of cards with a flick and that was causing me that hurt feeling that realization was important but more important was to let that feeling be there instead of suppressing my emotions so i almost emoted the same feeling for another 18 hours but those 18 hours were also important because that is the time when i realized or rather i thought i pondered i contemplated on the thought on the relationship on the friendship that i had with that friend he is somebody who has always been there for me somebody who has understood me when there were so many misunderstandings somebody who has always had my back somebody who cushioned me when i needed so how can i just let that go and decide that i don't want to talk to him just for that one misunderstanding i decided to mend that broken thread what was the next action i immediately called her you know what i want to speak to you he was hurt so what you know i think we should talk about what about that scenario i insisted and after all he is my friend he agreed we talked we discussed and this time my emotion clad thoughts were not there anymore we discussed our point of views he was on one tangent i was on another tangent and this time our tangents converged and that not so fine day turned out to be fine later on after all that's a friendship we held that's a friendship we hold in this whole fiasco i realized that understanding your emotions and focusing on the positive aspects of your relationships is highly important if you want to sustain your relations for long term and more importantly for your own self as well for how long can you go like this this is how i handled my emotions by journaling and focusing on the positives but let me ask you if you were at my place how would you have handled it those master of the day i'm sorry thank you toast monster nancy give me give her a great applause for this wonderful speech that you have made and really you made your day a fine day from not so fine day now i would like to call upon the speaker uh, the evaluator for the second speaker distinguished toast master saurav datta kindly read the purpose of the purpose statement of the second speaker over to you atm saurabh the second speaker is attempting a project understanding your communication style from the path motivational strategy it's a level 2 project 1 understanding your communication style the purpose of this project is for the member to learn about different communication styles and identify her primary style the purpose of this speech is for the member to share the impact of her style on others during the completion of this project the member responded to a questionnaire to help identify her communication style about this speech the member will deliver today a well organized speech about some aspect of communication style she may choose to speak about her own communication style or the impact of communication styles on her the speech can be humorous informational or any style the member chooses 
the speech should obviously not be a report on the content of the understanding your communication style project. Apart from the generic feedback where I will tell her what she excelled at, what she may want to work on and what, she, what I would want to challenge her on, I would also look out for some sp specific criteria, how she excelled on those. Clarity, vocal variety, eye contact, gestures, audience awareness, comfort level, interest, and relevance to the topic, which means that she needs to share some aspect of her communication style and the impact of that style on self or others. Timer, please note that the timing for this speech is five to seven minutes. I would request you to show the green card at five minutes, the yellow card at six minutes, and the red card at seven minutes. And do not show the red, green card or any other card before when the speech is in progress, before the green card has to come. Thank you. Back to you, Toastmaster. Thank you, DTM Saurudatta, for this uh, information on the purpose statement. Now, I would like to call upon our second speaker, who is currently serving VP education role at Stage Coach Bangalore Toastmaster Club. Prior to this, she was a sergeant at arms. She is a fan of Toastmasters International, a cultural geek person who is into dance, art, and sports. Professionally, she is a senior data management analyst and loves analysis in her personal life as well. That was wonderful. Now let us welcome Toastmaster Mohini. Toastmaster Mohini, power of communication. Toastmaster Mohini, over to you. Thank you, Toastmaster of the day, Joseph. Before starting the speech, uh, I'm not able to see timer card, so I just wanted to confirm. Yeah, now I can see. Thank you. Am I audible and visible to all of you? Can you please thumbs up? Or uh, time, uh, timekeeper, can you please? Okay, sure. Thank you so much. Good evening, Toastmasters. Dear guests, you must be wondering, right? Why I started like this? Can anyone please answer me in yes or no? Was it effective communication style? Any volunteer? Yeah, I, I would say no. Definitely, exactly. Even I will not be encouraged to forward the dialogues with someone who is not positive, we starting the communication. Happy Friday. I am euphoric today in this meeting because today is last working day of a week and we all have some plan like what we need to do in the weekend. I have some plan, definitely you all also have some plan. So this is the way of communication that you should be exacting about the communication. And this is the one style which I prefer, which is the initiating the communication style. Now, let's talk about nonverbal communication. Because we all know communication is a two-way process of reaching the mutual understanding through verbal, nonverbal, and written. We all know importance of words, but today, first I would like to highlight the importance of non-verbal communication. I would mention seven points. First, body language. This matters a lot when you are talking in professional or personal. How you are moving around, how you are looking, this will impact. Second one is your posture. If you are not confident enough and you are, if you are bending your shoulder and if some leader is talking to you and you are not showing that confidence, then obviously your communication will impact. Third one is eye contact. This will prove that you are confident enough to communicate with someone. Fourth one is, fourth one is your speech tone, volume, 
and speed. How fast you are talking, how slow you are talking. Fifth one is your space, closeness. Suppose you are talking to some unknown person and first time you are interacting to your colleague. You are not supposed to close very much and stand because the other person will not be comfortable. So there should be some distance between the person. So that will also impact your communication style. And last but not the least is physiological. It's unintentional, your body changes. Suppose some people sweat while giving speech or while doing any performance like such dance, singing. Some people unintentionally, they will blink so much and they will move their uh, legs like she's shaking. So this is the uh, seventh part I can say in non-verbal communication, which is important factor. Now you all got to know what all the non-verbal communication and I would recommend to apply all seven non-verbal communication in your communication style, what you have already identified or what you are going to identify. Now, let's talk about other verbal styles. So first, I already covered initiate one. Now, second, I would cover supportive communication style. So this style is calm, precise, steady. This will be needed for all those communicators who are like to be in supportive environment. Suppose, I would give an example in today's meeting. Our journal evaluator or speech evaluator, they may have this communication style because they are active listener and they are dependable and they need to be calm, patiencefully listen the speakers. Now, third communication style, what I learned from Toastmaster curriculum is analytical. Analytical communication style for all those who wants to work on data first. Suppose I am a speaker, so I apply this anal analytical skills before presenting in front of you all that what is my communication style, how far I have been here, what I did mistake, what I learned, so I prepared that data and I wrote my speech just to present in front of you. So I would say this is can be example of analytical. Now let's talk about the important, or I can say the last one is direct communication style. And in this, the communicator would prefer to be on point. He never prefer or she never prefer to repeat same topic and over talking, over thinking, and they always be in result orientation. They always want to achieve and accomplish things by doing direct communication. And I use this direct communication in my professional life because I feel we don't have enough time if we have some deadlines and we need to communicate to our in our scrum calls or in our leadership calls to them. Now, I would just say one thing about the communication, that communication is not just to use tough words from a dictionary. It is easy word from your heart. Because communication can make your life or break your life. So be wise to choose your communication style because this is dependent on situation and to the person to whom you are talking, not just what you would like to communicate. And I hope we'll carry the same communication styles in today's meeting as well. Thank you so much. Give a big hand to the speaker who have really put the communication style in a very detailed way. Thank you so much, Toastmaster Mohini. Now, ladies and gentlemen, you know that the Toastmaster at the inception, it was only meant for men and not for women. 
it was later around 30 years back if i am not wrong was given to women also to share the platform and today you find there are champion speakers international presidents and so on and so forth they have gone to that an high extent of occupation in the toastmasters club in the exact in the same way in cricket in the 16th century it was not given to women it was later on in 1745 international development began at the start of the 20th century and the first test match was played between australia and england in december 1934 The following year, New Zealand joined them, and in 2007, Netherlands became the tenth women's destination when they made their debut against South Africa in 1958. The International Women's Cricket Council was founded in 1973. The first Cricket World Cup of any kind took place when a Women's World Cup was held in England in 2005. The International Women's Cricket Council was merged with the International Cricket Council to form one unified body to help manage and develop cricket. Today, you find in our country there are women leading cricket and getting the participating even in the Olympic or in the World Cup or in the T20s or the One Day match and so on and so forth. We are so proud of them, and they are bringing. Uh, medals and uh, uh, what not to our country with their perform high performance so to say october 2015 covering all three formats of women cricket in october 2018 following the icc decision to award t20 international status to all members the women's ranking is that we are split it to odi and t20 list in a different way now we are going to have a very interesting part of the session the table topic session table topic impromptu speech is really giving a chance to speak speak even the guest and they are allowed at least this only part this part of the uh, session and i would like the guests to take the full advantage of the chance to take up the table topic speaking the table topic master will explain the every detail of the table topic how to uh, take up the present uh, and also the timings everything she will be explaining the table topic master is dotting mother and learner for life she has adapted from being an introvert to being a social introvert she considered toastmaster to be a catalyst in her life that was wonderful now i call upon toastmaster alpana toastmaster alpana warm welcome to you for our club also and take up this toast table topic master in a wonderful way and you have the team also with you over to you thank you very much uh, toastmaster joseph thank you so much for that introduction once again a very very good evening to everyone members and guests present here today what a beautiful theme we have today it's a uh, very much relevant very much fresh in everybody's mind so i could very uh, although i'm not a sports buff but uh, nobody gets uh, nobody is aloof of what's happening around right with the indian cricket team so yes it's good to hear all the point of views that you've brought forward well i will be the table topic master for today's session and as a table topic master it is my responsibility to drive this segment where guests and members will have opportunity to practice their impromptu speaking skills this segment i want to emphasize is open to all the guests also for participation i have few topics which are very simple which um, which actually are the traits that we develop when we take up any sports uh, be it cricket or any other sports that we play 
these are the traits that we develop uh, in the process, or we might have it. And I'm sure all of us would be able to relate to some or the other incidents in our lives, uh, which corresponds to these traits. And I would love to hear those anecdotes and stories that all of you have to bring forward with respect to those traits. Uh, timing, the timing for each of the speaker for each topic would be one to two minutes. There would be a grace period of 30 seconds pre and post. Uh, 30 seconds uh, is the minimum that you have to speak. And uh, one minute, sorry, two minutes, uh, 30 seconds is the maximum that you can speak. All right, that were the rules and regulations. I would just reiterate the word of the day. Anybody wanting to use it could just uh, you know, try to inculcate it in, uh, incorporate it in their speeches, exacting, meaning making great demands on one's skills, attention, and resources. All right, we will begin with the segment. I would request anyone to volunteer. All right, I Manish. see in. Manish. Manish has volunteered. Thank you very much, Manish, for volunteering. And let me. Um, Put up the topic for you. So the topic is one word topic, but anything that comes to your mind, any story, any example, any thoughts, opinions about that topic is most welcome that you can talk about it. And your topic is teamwork. Teamwork, Manish, Manish, the topic is teamwork. Good evening, everybody. In our in any of the organization, team work is very important. If somebody thinks the person who does a cleaning in the office is a low class person, that person is absolutely wrong. Because if the office is not clean, it looks messy. It is it is unhygienic. If the sweeper doesn't come in the office, the toilet is so messy after two days, it stinks. If an accountant doesn't come, accounts is the backbone of the company. And whatever money we have to take it from the market or we have to give, we do not come to know if the work is pending of accounts. If the same people are not in their company and they are not able to make the sale of that organization, how will they make money? How will they make profit? There should be somebody in the office who's a manager because somebody is there to look after that. Then only the entire team is there. If the manager is not there, entire organization, nobody is look, look after that. Nobody will come to know what to do. There is somebody who gives direction to other person, those who work in the office, that this is your task to do it. Even the person with that, who owns that organization, even that's his baby, even he has to look after that organization. If he doesn't do, it's a complete day work. Otherwise, that organization can collapse, can get bankrupt if they don't work hard Nowadays, there is a cutthroat competition in every business. So there is a teamwork. I'm talking about business. That's everywhere. If somebody plays any game, cricket. So every player is important. Every player has his own role. Then only they can win the match. If an entire team of a cricket is suppose the person who's looking after the wicket, who's a wicket keeper, is a weak, can make the we gain loss. So teamwork is important in every field. Over to the Toastmaster, please. Thank you very much, Manish. That was a very good take on the topic. In fact, you covered a lot of aspects of the topic itself and very beautifully, you know, weaved it through different aspects on cricket and business. And uh, I would like to add upon that as is that teamwork is something that we all do in, as a family as well. 
when friends and family everywhere we in every aspect of our lives we look up to teamwork is something that's so important thank you very much for bringing in your perspective to all of us today about the topic thank you all right let's move on if we have any more volunteers for the next topic i see mohini raising her hand mohini uh, would you be taking up the next topic yes toastmaster alpana hi so let's see what we have for you okay toastmaster mohini your topic would be success toastmaster mohini success over to you thank you toastmaster alpana and this is really exciting uh, topic very similar to all of our life uh, let me just tag uh, time keeper for this uh, so yeah i can see it success is always necessary for in every section or every phase of the life but i would say is not necessary that you have to be success as a some result even though if you have put your 100% effort and you could not achieve a result what you have desired but it doesn't mean that you didn't get a success still you got a success why because your efforts was there because you you have put a effort so this i would say as a success not a result which i couldn't or anyone couldn't achieve so i will measure success as all of our all of our input efforts the way of we are moving from our negative thoughts to positive thoughts or how we are overcoming our challenges in our personal or our professional life so this is the way to maintain the success and i would say never thought about that if you have not achieved something that you become failure no that is also success at least you have tried to achieve that success thank you and back to you toastmaster alpana thank you very much toastmaster mohini thank you very much that was very well said uh, a very beautiful perspective again you brought in about this topic i love the part that you said that you know it is it is the journey it is how you reach that destination not exactly the destination that helps you uh, grow that teaches you that brings in that self satisfaction and that is what is the true success right i uh, loved that take on the topic thank you so much for bringing that to us all right moving on let's see who do we have next if i may request dtm um, sorov to take up a topic for us sure all right uh, dtm sorov your topic would be adaptability dtm sorov adaptability survival <clears throat> i think adaptability has its uh, as its immediate synonym which is survival i think this is something that mankind has learned through the ages that if you cannot adapt you perish and i will give you one example which each of you here will relate to how many of you have heard seen or rode this scooter called chetak bajaj chetak right your grandfather or your father or your uncle someone must have had it that was the scooter at one point of time and bajaj had almost 98 to 99% of the market share and bajaj thought that we are invincible no one can kill us and then what happened suddenly because of some bollywood movie is coming in and the heroes and the heroines doing romancing on the bikes and this and that you know this motorcycle craze started coming up hero honda saw the writing on the wall actually it was hero motor corp at that point of time they tied up with honda and they started making motorcycles and bajaj who thought that they cannot perish from the market totally disappeared from the market no one was buying scooters 
It was only motorcycles all the way. And then Hero Honda got out of it. Oh my God, we've got this market. This is ours. We are going to keep it. And then what happened? Then came Honda Activa, Scooty, Scooty Pep, Pep Plus, Honda Hero Pleasure and whatnot. So do you see this tubular market? That's something that we are seeing in front of our eyes. People are continuously adapting and those who are adapting are surviving. And today we are staring at the electric uh, two wheelers coming into the market and we don't know what's going to happen because we are adapting and those businesses which are adapting with that, they're actually thriving and growing and striving. And that is the key of survival. If you don't adapt, you will probably not be around to see a better tomorrow. Thank you. Back to you, Madam Table Talk. Thank you very much, DTM Saurav. How beautifully within a span of two minutes, you give us a case study to explain how adaptability is survival. That is something that was exacting uh, for me because that kind of that kind of skill is something I really need to um, you know adapt to. <laughs> If I may say so. Thank you very much for that beautiful uh, adaptation of the topic. <laughs> All right. After that um, adaptation, let's move on and ask if we have any more volunteers or I might just pick the last table topic speaker. Akshata. Sure. Would you like to take up the next topic? You're on mute. Oh, sorry. Uh, channel and I just try. Oh, okay. Your voice is breaking a little, but let's give it a try. Am I audible now? Yes, it's better. It's better. Okay. So your topic, Akshita, would be determination. Akshita, your topic is determination. Sure. Uh, so thank you all the Toastmasters for giving me this opportunity to uh, come up and speak. Uh, so uh, when you uh, come across the word determination, uh, so whatever uh, work we do or whatever uh, uh, work we do, we have to uh, think is like the first thing that, that we have to uh... Akshita, we cannot hear you. Uh... You're breaking up actually. Okay. Um, am I audible now? Yeah, please go ahead. Okay, sorry for that disturbance. Yeah. So whatever work we do, so the first thing that we have to do is we should have the determination to do uh, any work or uh, any uh, anything that we take up. The without determination, uh, so uh, it's just like we have we should we should never uh, uh, like we have to um, akshita are you there um sorry 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 alpana actually uh it, it's okay uh, i mean Sorry about the disturbance. It's okay. I mean, I, I can take up next time. Maybe there is a lot of network issues over here. So it's fine. Okay. I'm um, going out of the, the connectivity. Yes, I'll say it here. Yeah, sorry for that. No problem. In fact, I'm so sorry. I mean, you were, were so 
um, keen to take up the topic, but unfortunately the network is not supporting and we're not able to hear you. I'm so sorry, but Akshita, we would love to hear your take on um, the table topic segment. Whenever you are with us next time, please do join in and attempt the topic next time around. We would love to hear from you. Thank you very much for still taking up the topic. I did get that part where you were talking about how determination is so important in any, any task that we do in our lives. Thank you very much, Akshita. All right, that brings us to the close of this segment. I absolutely loved listening to all the uh, opinions and the views that each of the table topic speaker had on the various traits that a person might gain over a period of time or has gained throughout his life so far. So thank you everyone for participating and uh, see you around next time. Over to you, uh, Toastmaster of the day, Toastmaster Joseph. Thank you. Thank you so much, Toastmaster Alpana Das for taking up your wonderful topic. Let us give a great applause to the table topic master as well as those who have spoken on the subjects. One more thing I would like to say that you have evaluated the speakers by yourself. That was a very good uh, way of uh, evaluation also you have taken up. Thank you so much for that. Now it is time for the third session. The third session will be taken over by our general evaluator, Toastmaster Sushmita, over to you. Uh, thank you, Toastmaster of the day, Toastmaster uh, Joseph Shah. Uh, good evening, everybody, one, uh, once again. And I'm back for the evaluation session, which is also very important session for any Toastmasters meeting. So now, before I share my feedback, let me hear from my team how they felt about today's meeting. So first, I'll request uh, the speech evaluator to share their um, feedback on the speaker. Now, first evaluator uh, is back. Rudai, are you back? Yeah. Okay, so here's okay. So may I request our first evaluate evaluator, distinguished Toastmaster Rudai Mohanty, to share your uh, feedback about our first speaker, Toastmaster Nancy. Over to you. Okay. Not every day is a good day, but it is said that you let it be any day, but we have to leave any way. Not all of you will love you back, but we have to love yourself. A very good evening, fellow Toastmaster, General Evaluator, and the speaker Nancy in particular. Though it was not a good day for you, but your speech today have definitely created that positive vibes that I was looking for uh, in your speech as looked out for the objective of the speech. So talking about the, what are the positive vibes and what's so not so positive vibes that I find out I found out in your day, I would say that your story was, you were a fascinating story, a story of two friends, how they broke up, how they came closer and they taught a lesson for everyone here. So I will say it was a fantastic, fantastic story of two friends which engrossed the audience to hear you out, means to look out what is going to happen at the day, why it was not a fine day. So I would say it was a very, fantastic story that I was looking out for. The second thing I was amazed by your story being in a virtual state is that your hand gesture, the hand gestures was perfectly used when I was looking out for, when you were uh, giving that, uh, I mean, any perfect moment that your, it was, your hand gesture was going along with your, your story. So that I, that what I liked in your speech. The third thing that I liked about your speech as it is a story and the pauses, the perfect pauses that you are going through the slow and steady, but giving us a beautiful story at the end of day, that is a need of every storyteller. And it was perfectly matching or at least perfectly matching my positive vibes that, vibes that I was looking out for. It was that in your speech. But as it was a not good day, but if I have to find what were not so good positive vibes and looking as a Nancy as a speaker, I have two things that you definitely can work on, work on and be the better version of Nancy that I can see next time. 
is that your you have a beautiful story you have it the, the modulation maintained throughout the speech but somehow i felt somewhere that the voice modulation was not matching up with the the words that you are speaking for example you are telling that i was very uh, infuriating it was a ex exerting exerting pain or i was hurt feeling so that time i was looking out to you know, toastmaster nancy is that at least a low tone low tone or something uh when some change of expression means though it was the hand gestures was there but that uh, facial language was not matching up that i was looking out for and the second thing is that though you bought up that characterization of the two uh, of the two of your friends in the story if you could bought off bought that in the initial moment that when two friends are talking over though it was there in the end but if you can brought in the first it would have added more essence to the story apart from this i could say that the speech was a full usage of words with fulfilling the objective of the speech a great story to, for and leaving us not making it making it not as a good day but sending us positive vibes at the end of the day thank you over to you janali valeta uh thank you so much distinguished toshmaster sudhir for your very positive evaluation for the speaker one moving mm -hmm. on for the interest of time uh, let me invite our second evaluator distinguished toshmaster shourab datta to please uh, share your evaluation on our second speaker toshmaster mohini thank you so much uh, madam general evaluator so mohini a loaded speech full of information and with a very good start with an audience interaction you shared some good techniques on how to interact with the audience you also had some good examples supporting about the supporting communication style which you use for the ge for the evaluators and even for the direct communication style where you talked about why it helps you at your workplace now a couple of things what is the project objective the project objective is not to teach the communication styles the project objective or communication techniques the project objective is for you to understand the communication styles so there is a difference communication style and communication technique while we had a wonderful education session on communication techniques what i was looking for is examples on the communication styles which i did not find many during the course of your speech except for one which is in case of the supporting communication style also there were a lot of points in your speech you talked about all the communication styles then you talked about the various communication techniques where you gave seven points so imagine if i tell you around 11 points or 12 points in a 5 minutes duration how many do you think you will actually be able to remember so always respect the fact that in abc of communication b is for brevity brevity means that you will have to be brief and concise and crisp in your messaging so instead of having so many points about what um, we could do to become better communicator it would have been better if you would have limited to just maybe a couple of points if you needed to but spend the most of your speech on the various communication styles apart from that there were a couple of choice of words and sentence construction some pronunciations which were a little disturbing to hear you know the way you constructed those sentences since it's a project on communication styles communication is the key here you have to be very careful about the words that you are using are they making the impact in terms of the message that you are trying to convey as they say effective communication is eliciting the desired response so are you eliciting the desired response that would have been a good way of exacting the purpose of this speech and finally something very tactical so let me show this to you how am i looking now or is this better so what is the difference the camera angle your entire time your camera was down there and we were looking up to you the moment we look up to you the entire your, your entire frame gets a little distorted it doesn't look good so always ensure that you bring up the camera to a face level so that we can see you at the face level so to summarize a great speech 
in terms of content, a great speech in terms of the techniques that you explained. You had a good audience interaction. But when it comes to the project objectives, I think the project objectives were not met because it was about understanding your communication style and not about teaching us the communication technique. Along with that, pay attention to your choice of words and also limit the number of points and pay attention to your screen presence. Thank you so much. Back to you, Madam Jean. Uh, thank you so much, distinguished Toastmaster Shaurabh Bhatta, for your uh, <clears throat> very detailed evaluation on our speaker. I'm sure our speaker had noted and she will incorporate this in her upcoming speeches. All right, uh, moving on. Let me now call our uh, team member who are there from the beginning and who are also doing the evaluation in terms of timing and the language. So first, let me call our timer, Toastmaster Premchand, to share your report. So over to yeah. Toastmaster Premchand. Yeah, as a timer, I worked for this meeting. So here's my output, basically. The for first, I can start with the uh, table topics, oh, sorry, the prepare speeches. So prepare speeches, Nancy, go ahead. Nancy has taken seven minutes time. And it's within time, it's captured and it was good explanation by Nancy regarding the two friends, uh, friendship between two friends and relation between two friends. Other is the money. She also completed within on the time within seven minutes only and it's under a time frame only. So Moni also has given the good project objective actually. So that's also good explanation. We got something from her. The uh, take takeaway was there something there was. So that is the prepared strategy. Another thing, when we come to table topics, then table topics is like Mohini has taken 1.4 uh, one point uh, sorry yeah 1.40 second and it's between time frame and uh, Saurabh has taken 2.10 uh, and it's within time frame as we know means the 30 second we can up and down we can go and uh, Akshata has taken 1 minute 30 second which is we can say means it's not it's actually border it's not in between and we can say it's on border time and then we can we can come to Bunis. actually he has taken 2.25 uh say into two minutes 25 seconds which is coming in the time frame only so this is all table topics basically if we will see all over all the he cover within the time frame except the achata which she completed only one minute 30 seconds and then uh, when we ever we will come to evaluation part right in evaluation part basically we can see the nance for nancy evaluation he has taken three minutes 40 seconds which is 10 seconds more whatever we have committed for three minutes, 30 seconds. And then Saurabh Dutta for uh, Mohini. And uh, he also has taken three minutes, uh, three minutes, 40 seconds, which is 10 seconds more. So all the things is got completed from my end. As yeah. time. Yeah. Uh, thank That's you so much. From my side. Yeah, thank Thanks. you so much, Toastmaster Prem, for your detailed uh, report. So let me quickly go to our next uh, 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 supporting team member of mine. So that is language evaluator, Toastmaster Vidhu. So over to you, Toastmaster Vidhu. Thank you so much, uh, General Evaluator, Toastmaster Shushmita. So I'll quickly share my screen to give the summary of my report. Give me one, one second. Uh, is my screen visible? Yes. Okay. So I'll start with my Grammarian report. Uh, as you can see, to, uh, speaker number one, Toastmaster Nancy has a lot of great usages. I try to, you know, pick out the better ones. So she used ruffled up. She used the words righteousness, got cla clashed with each passing day, left in the abyss, amygdala, infuriated, 
curling up like a cocoon, excruciating pain, crashing down like a house of cards, pushing me when needed, mend a broken thread and different tangents converging. So a round of applause for Toastmaster Nancy for inculcating so many great sentences and phrases in her speech. Our speaker number two, Toastmaster Mohini, had three words which I could, which put my attention to her. One was euphoric. She used exacting, the word of the day. And she also used the phrase, make or break your life. In the table topic segment, Toastmaster Alpana used words like sports for nobody is aloof, retreat and inculcate, which grabbed my attention. And in the table topics, our guest Munish used the sentence cutthroat competition and BTM sort of used adapt or perish, invincible and saw the writing on the wall. Now coming to the evaluator, DTM Rude used the word engrossed, which is a very nice word. And DTM sort of used brevity and eliciting. Again, two good, good words. There are three improvement areas which caught my attention. One is in one sentence, the role taker used dance and singing, which I would say there is an inconsistency in tense. It should be dancing and singing. The word patientfully is an incorrect use and we should use maybe the sentence listen patiently. And the last one, um, I mean, the, the word last one should be changed to last but not the least. For the word of the day, there were, the word of the day was mentioned by Mohini twice and DTM sort of once. With this, I move on to my R counter report, which you can see is very minimal. So it's a great round of applause for every speaker and role taker. Uh, just a few instances where I heard the filler sounds. One was by evaluated ETM Hude, that you use two hours, and Toastmaster Alpana during our table topic round, two hours. Akshata, who had a lot of technical issues, had filler sounds, but we would give it to the technical issue and not see too much into it. Two words to improve the R sounds. If you are giving a speech, then probably you can practice, which our Toastmaster Nancy and Mohini did very well, so that you can see there is no crutch words and filler sounds. But for evaluator DTM Hurday, as you can, as you have prepared your evaluation in a very short while, what might have happened was your thought might have, you know, went faster than the words that were coming out of while you were speaking. So you can just, you know, speak slowly or you can use effective pauses to remove those hours. Same with Toastmaster Alpana, because table topic is again somewhere impromptu. She can use the sentences slowly or she can pause effectively while speaking. With this, I give the stage back to our general evaluator, Toastmaster Shushmita. Thank you. Uh, thank you so much, Toastmaster Bidhu, our language evaluator, for sharing so much in detail your report, the Grammarian report, and also the counter report. So thank you so much. Now we are at 6.30. I'll request maybe another five, seven minutes extension of the meeting. Uh, so I'll try to quickly share my report, and then I'll hand it over to our next um, Toastmaster Bidhu. Today's meeting started at 5.03 and we are 6.30, so that means around 5-7 minutes we are running late. So I'll, uh, maybe I'll request next time to be on time, all the role takers to stick to the agenda uh, stipulated time. And uh, today's meeting attendance, uh, initially it was 11, um, so okay, could, could be better, but no problem, we can try to have this uh, quality meeting and then we'll get more members as we go on. Then our sergeant at arm, Toastmaster Milind, started the meeting with great enthusiastic. And I, I really like uh, the way he was in, in his talk, he was impromptu, uh, way he was giving uh, the, some adjectives to the, our guests and also inviting them and including them in his talk, so into the meeting. So that was a great uh, start for a meeting and everybody hooked to the meeting that what's in it there. So great start for our Sergeant Atam. Then he very nicely um, um, uh, handed over to our post, uh, presiding officer for two days, Postmaster Bidu. He said, uh, great thing uh, by which we can be, uh, we, we know our presiding officer very well. So great job there as well. So now our Toastmaster Bidhu, our presiding officer, he started the meeting officially and also welcome all the guests. And uh, you, you Toastmaster Bidhu, you shared very inspiring mm, thoughts to start the meeting. So I really, which I, I liked to, today. 
and uh, just for a uh, point of uh, maybe recommendation for not only you but as a presiding officer maybe couple of audience or guest interaction you can have you know if not for all just uh, why she joined or he or she joined um, or what he or she is expecting from the meeting something very quickly so could have been good okay and uh, then i i saw uh, later you had to put on the message uh, about speech waivers club so uh, my request will may or maybe my recommendation will be as a po you can speak there about one or two lines maybe about your club okay now moving on uh, to our um, joke master of the day toast master uh, joseph sir so you have shared very nice <laughs> joke on uh, visit visa versus permanent visa i think uh, that that is great uh, Story, yeah. So we, when we some of our uh, we visit some of our guests uh, rarely, so we get something different uh, treatment when we start visiting them often. We, we see that different. So very nicely brought out, very good. Then as toastmaster of the day, toastmaster Joseph, um, again you talked about the um, the theme, the cricket, and what I like today, um, or maybe what was something new today was that you you shared the history of cricket. and then you also shared that how the omen came to the cricket so personally i i, I re recalled that when i met uh, mithila raj who was our uh, past uh, indian omen cricket captain team captain for india and um, i i i could uh, connect uh, what you are telling uh, from that introduction one one thing i remember that i asked mithali raj um, i mean you play so much um, international uh, matches you had so much pressure that you have to win or there are many other uh, challenges so how do you overcome it, that so uh, one thing she replied and what i, I started uh, doing when i also used to play that she told that uh, during those matches international matches or even domestic matches she reads book so whenever she goes um, so she takes some novels and she started that having of revit uh, reading in in between the matches so when she was waiting for her turn to go to the field as a batsman she will read or uh, so that habit will come her down come her tension so i think that is one we will can try if we want to control our nerve due to the pressure under pressure situation so toast master joseph you reminded me those incidences so thank you again for highlighting that aspect then you also very nicely um, explained the structure of the meeting the about the toast master international that guest will be also get priority during the table topic so very welcoming your um, your talk whenever you came in between so i really like that now moving on for our uh, or so maybe toast master joseph one one point of recommendation for you if you can have couple of uh, audience interaction maybe one quiz questions something uh, just to check uh, like when the women got included in cricket team so you could have asked first then you could have answered so like that just to have some in, uh, audience interaction then our uh, uh, speakers both the very great speaker uh, speeches so we all enjoyed so no and our evaluators gave very helpful positive feedback on them so uh, in the for the evaluator i toast master dtm uh, rudol i i, I like uh, that you started your evaluation uh, connecting with directly with the what the speaker told so that uh, i am sure that our speaker got hooked to you uh, Im immediately and as an audience we also got hooked to you so that that's a great uh, uh, way of uh, starting your speech evaluation and also you were appreciating the speaker about gestures and i saw that you also used the gestures very well so it was matching what you were telling so great again and what i like the best on your evaluation i mean during your evaluation that you you did some recommendation and you said why and you also gave the example so i think this is very much uh, uh, helpful for a speaker to understand what he or she has to improve and what she or he has done so giving a, a why he or she has to improve and with um, example i think that made a huge difference in your evaluation and it was very positive i'm sure um, the the speaker how she talked about the positive outcome and the evaluation how you gave positively all were in sync and very well done okay so then moving on our sec yeah thank you uh, our sp second speaker i think you uh, you got uh, toastmaster uh, um, 
Mohini, you got your feedback from the uh, your evaluated Toastmaster DTM Distinguished Toastmaster Shaurab. Um, and I'm sure so you know, if you prefer, you can try to um, maybe you can try to do this speech again. So it's up to you. But uh, whatever he had uh, mentioned, I'll recommend you to you know, take a note and work on that, especially the camera angle and then the project meeting the project objective. So that are very good uh, feedback uh, you can work on on immediate basis. Okay, now moving on our Toastmaster Alpana's table topic master, very well, uh, well planned and well executed session. You explained nicely at the beginning, then you also reminded me all, all of the audience or the speakers who are going to come to use the word of the day. Great. And also you have summarized after each speaker. Very well, well done. So one, two recommendation for you, no, Toshmash Alpana. Since we are running late of time, I was checking that when the T section was starting, it was almost six, but as per the agenda, that time general evaluation should have been started around that time. So you could limit your talk. Uh, you could, you can, could have given only the uh, topics and just uh, since we are running a little short of time, you could have limit your thought, talk post, so maybe your opinion, you can could have limit so that we could have finished on time. Uh, otherwise, uh, great session, uh, overall session. And Toastmaster Munish, Toastmaster Mohini, DTM showed up, Toastmaster Akshata, all spoke very well with your practical uh, example. So all, all the topics were also good so that you could talk very easily. So well done to all. And um, for our timer and evaluator, so timer, I, I, I can understand that initially you were having some issues, but you managed it very well. And again, one quick thing to recommendation to you, since as a timer, you don't have to explain about the speaker, how she or she did. So you, you can just show your report, timing report. So in that way, we could manage the timing. Otherwise, great job uh, how you manage the whole the timing session after the initial hiccup. Great job for our timer and Toastmaster Bidu. Excellent, um, I, I have already told you. I think I have covered all and my observation is that uh, today, like for every cricket uh, match, uh, there, is, there will be win. Like we are so sure about winning India yesterday, but we lost. So even though maybe today there will be co say competition, there will be some best role takers. Some people will win, the other will not, but it is just only for today and it should not be any, uh, um, any uh, it, it should not give you any demoralization, demoralize, demoral, <laughs> sorry, it should not demoralize you. So you should take it positively, try again, because we have seen that India lost yesterday, but I'm sure next 18th February, 18th November, it's going to New Zealand for the first T20 and they are going to win that uh, match. So we are hoping for that. So there will be many chances and just practice, come attending meeting, uh, learn from each other, or in, then practice again and excel. So with this, I, I really enjoyed today's meeting and this I played cricket uh, earlier. I was the first bowler and I, I know the pain when the batsman or the batswoman hits six, four when you bowl. And I also like uh, enjoyed when I got the wicket. So it's always mm, ups and downs like in life. And we, we can learn all this from the cricket. So watch cricket, enjoy, uh, enjoy the uh, our cricket. We have the great players, both men and women team and um, enjoy your life. With this, hand it back to Toastmaster of the day, Toastmaster Joshi. Thank you to General Evaluator Toastmaster Sushmita. Give a great applause to her wonderful evaluation. Toastmaster Sushmita, whatever I wanted to say and close the meeting, you have already completed it rather than my attempt. Thank you so much for that one. However, I will close the meeting with a little bit of uh, uh, share uh, some one of the spiritual leader world spiritual leader has given a little bit of speech uh, from which i will share a few lines to you, all of you to be happy is to stop feeling like a victim and become the author of your own fate it's walking through deserts but being able to find an oasis deep in the soul He's thanking God every morning for the miracle of life. He's kissing your children, cuddling your parents, having poetic moments with your friends, even with when they hurt us. Being happy is letting the creature that lives in each of us life free, joyful, and simple. 
we have the maturity to be able to say, I have made mistakes. It's having the courage to say, I'm sorry. It's having the sense to say, I need you. It's having the ability to say, I love you. May your life become a garden of opportunities for happiness, that in spring, he may be a lover of joy, and in winter, a lover of wisdom. This is the speech from the world's one of the most influential spiritual leader, Pope Francis. Thank you so much for this, uh, all the participants who have wonderfully demonstrated their skill and talent in running this meeting. Without you, we cannot have a wonderful meeting and an entertainment meeting. And all the evaluators and the speakers have given a great thought and whatever they have given to us today from their heart and mind. I thank you all for this wonderful session that you've made us to have in Speech Weavers Club. From the Speech Weavers Club, I give you a great honor to one and all for coming to this club. Over to you, the president of Speech Weavers today. Thank you so much, uh, Toastmasters of the day, Toastmaster Joseph, sir. I think the analogy that you presented about cricket and life, and especially with Toastmasters, is completely correct, in my opinion. And um, I do run a cricket post podcast, but I think the amount of cricket that we discuss in today's show is much more than what we usually discuss in our podcast. But it was invaluable and insightful about what you talked about, what you spoke about cricket in general. Uh, as our general evaluator has already mentioned, we are a little bit running late in time. So I'll just finish the last segment, which is quite important segment, because as he said, winning and losing happens, but it is also important to choose, I mean, to acknowledge and recognize the people who have done well because of the effort that they have put in before coming here. So I'll co quickly go to the voting list. I think I have almost, I have almost seven responses. We have eight people. So I think I can just close the voting list now and start announcing the winners. I will start with the best supporting role taker. It was a competition between our timer Toastmaster Prem, which who, by the way, is playing the first ever role taker in his Toastmasters life. It is the first time he is playing any role in Toastmasters. But he has come second best. The people have nominated me, so thank you. But I think as we progress, our timer Toastmaster Prem will improve. The best table topic speaker award goes to our DTM Saurav. Congratulations, DTM Saurav. He is not there in the meeting, but we would obviously pass on the information. The best role taker, it was a competition between our general evaluator, Sushmita, Toastmasters of the Day, Joseph, and Table Topic Master Alpana. And the winner is Table Topic Master Alpana by just one vote. So, congratulations, Table Topic Master Toastmaster Alpana. Now, moving on to the best evaluator for the day. Again, it was a close competition. Three people voted for DTM Rude, but four people have voted for DTM Saurav. So DTM Saurav wins two hours today. One is the best table topic speaker and one is the best evaluator. Congratulations, DTM Saurav. Now, finally, the last award for the day is the best speaker. And the best speaker of the day goes to Toastmasters Nancy by a fair bit of margin. So Toastmasters Nancy, congratulations again. You have come again to Speech Reverse Toastmasters Club and you have again taken the Best Speaker Award. So congratulations. Congratulations to all the winners, by the way. With this, I would like to conclude our segment. Um, I would like to hear from Akshita because she is a guest. Um, are you available, Akshita, right now? No, she, she left. So I think the rest of all our Toastmasters, I would like to hear from Nancy. Nancy, you are visiting a different club. You have visited us twice. Why do you choose Speech Weavers and what exactly do you love about Speech Weavers? Well, uh, I would say every time I have visited Speech Weavers, I've always felt there's a conducive environment here. It never feels like I'm visiting a new club. It always feels like... Uh, welcoming here so that's what i love about speech viewers it makes me feel like a family and uh, it makes me feel comfortable so i love the vibe of the vibe of this club so that's the reason uh, i love to visit speech viewers as a role taker as a speaker or whatever whenever i get a chance whenever i have some time in my schedule just love to be here thank you so much for having me and thank you so much for the speaker slot thank you so much um 
interestingly we only have two people from speech speech universe today in this meeting so this would feel less like a speech universe club but anyways i'll thank joseph sir for conducting the tmod's role and he had the essence of speech universe along the way we also have munish munish who has joining is uh, joined us as a guest munish are you there By the way, have you taken the photograph? Uh, yes, we have taken it. All right, so I think people are dropping off. So thank you so much for joining in for today's meeting. We would love to have you back again. You have your we you thank have, you. have your number, and anytime reach out to VP membership, Adarsh, or to me, VP Education, Vidhu, or to anyone in Speech Weavers Club. We would try to find roles for you. We would try to accommodate you in our club meetings. Thank you. Good evening, and have a nice weekend. Bye -bye. Thank you. Thank you much. all once again. Thank you. Happy and weekend. spend your time with the family and friends this evening, and God bless you all. Yeah. Thank you. Thank